Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you the recent install of my NEMA 1450 outlet and in in-phase energy solar system. Just to make it clear, I am not sponsored by Standard Energy Solutions or Enphase, so all of the opinions you hear in this video are my own experience of the process. I've collected a decent amount of footage of the install, so let's get started. My goal for this project was to get as many panels on the roof as I could. That ended up being about 20 panels at 365 watts, equaling around about 7.3 kilowatts. The layout has seven panels in the back and 13 in the front. Much of the roof space was taken up by vents and the loft, but overall it ended up working out. The only part of the roof that didn't get panels was the right side of the peak on the front of the house. I understand it adds value, but my house would be 100% solar without the peak. The 7.3 kilowatt system ended up being just right because it's the exact amount of amperage that Tesla pulls when charging on the NEMA 1450 outlet. Standard Energy Solutions handled the plan and all the necessary parts of the install so I didn't have to chase behind them like other YouTube videos I've seen. Since my panel and meter are all at the garage, I didn't have to worry about any of the complex cable runs. With all that I wanted to accomplish, this required that I have a sub panel installed next to my house's 200 amp service. I also made sure to ask my installer to drop a NEMA 1450 outlet under the sub panel to be ready for my upcoming Tesla purchase. I've also mounted an outlet for a generator to backfeed my panel in case of an outage. I went with NEMA 1450 over the Tesla wall charger because I didn't see the point of paying an extra $500 for an hour and a half fasting charge. Even with the NEMA 1450, I have enough amps to get the charge rate of 30 miles per hour from the Tesla. And I can plug in the juice box EVSE later down the road if I wanted. 30 miles per hour is plenty fast enough charging for my needs being that I only live 12 miles from work and I have all night to charge once I get home. During the summer months, I'll even get home to charge before the solar drops off. Not to mention I have two different Tesla superchargers less than five miles away from my house if I ever needed faster charging speeds. The builder of my house maxed out the service panel so there's no available slots to add anything else. This meant that the installer also had to relocate four of my circuits to make room for the new AC breaker. So why did I choose Enphase for my solar system? Because the IQ7 microinverters. Since Enphase has microinverters that are connected right into your panel as AC, alternating current, the system can still work if the power goes out even without a battery. Each panel uses its own microinverter, meaning each panel can function separately from the other. Since each panel operates separately, this means that the voltage window is longer and no longer susceptible to string loss due to shading. With these microinverters, the panels convert from DC to AC at each panel. The in-phase system has an efficiency number CEC of 97% and the standard warranty is longer than Tesla's. All right, so here you see the tech on the roof pulling the cords through my attic, and you can see the other on the side pulling them through so that they can have a piece of conduit that runs from the side of the house all the way to the uh, junction box down on the ground that you see this other tech at. Directly on the other side of the panel that we've seen earlier, the hole drops right here where the solar system is gonna be connected into it. As you see here, my setup has three arrays. The three arrays head to the Envoy combiner box that also functions as a smart control for the system. The arrays go into the Envoy on the top two breakers and then head out on the middle breaker. According to code, the AC solar power is required to have a solar disconnect switch for safety of your home service panel. The solar disconnect switch then heads into the breaker panel with the 25 amp 240 breaker sitting at the top right of my panel. Now that we have solar fed into the service panel, the other breaker can use the power being back fed. The Envoy system has a feature where it can track the power and see if the grid is down, so that's what the two clips are on at the bottom of the panel. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and a little walkthrough of my solar system. I'll be doing plenty more videos on it in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Thank you. Peace.